Melissa, how's your relationship with Jennifer Aiden these days? Um, better. Okay, good. Better. We're, we're, we always, I feel like this is the thing with Jen and I. We always take like five steps forward and then like somehow we take eight steps back. Somehow. So, um, but right now I would say better. Um, any issues that, I mean, I don't know, I saw it last year. I don't know if it was verified, but you and Jennifer had uh, an interaction last year at BravoCon. I mean, has it been... No, it's been fine this year. Yes, we, I saw her last night. Um, oh, gosh. Joey G, I'm I promise this will be fun, guys. I promise we'll get to some laughs. But Joey G, any regrets from last season that we watched? No. Okay. That's a fair answer. Okay. Now let's get fun. Um, you ran into the other Joe G. Uh, was it, how was that reunion? You know what, that was, um, I, I'm gonna clarify something about this. I grew up with this man. Um, our parents were best friends growing up. We thought we were family, but we were paisans in the Italian world. And um, I haven't seen him since he went away. And the minute I saw him, which that moment, what you guys saw on Instagram, if you did see it, yep. was so real. And it was, somebody filmed it and sent it to me, and it was amazing, it really was. And we, we, we saw each other, we hugged each other, and it was a, such a beautiful moment. It was and nice to see It was nice, it really was. Beautiful. And it was. Better than and them ignoring each other, right, and not saying hello. So they hugged it out, it was, it was nice. Yeah, it was nice, so it was, uh, it was good. Who dressed you today, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Show us, Joe. Did you dress Margaret. yourself? Oh, Margaret did? Oh, okay. Yeah, good. You did a good job, Margaret. Someday, the big boys are going to take you out, and we're going to put our pants on together. Like, really? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to do it. I'm going to teach you how to tie your shoes and everything. Um, well, Jackie, Margaret, um, recently said on Watch What Happens Live that uh, you and her are, quote, going through something, um, or you're about to go through something. Um, uh, care to elaborate? Jackie and I, um, spoiler alert, since it's been announced, uh, are not where we used to be in life. We are not as close as we used to be. You know, which is sad because, you know, she informed me, which I didn't realize, we're not as close as I thought we were. Um, so I think I took offense to that, and it went a little south. Um, Melissa, it must be difficult for you uh, because you're friends with both of them. Yeah, it's really difficult because I was... I'm very confused by it also. I have to say a lot of it was hard for me because I love Jackie. I've been a friend of, with Jackie for a long time, the three of us together. And a lot of the things she just came out of left field and started to say just were strange to me, made no sense to me. To my face, she's extremely nice, she's very kind, and then I'll read little snarky things here and there that she's like saying, so it's very confusing for me. I don't understand exactly how authentic she's being about her new decisions in life, and yes. I just think she, you know, everyone needs to remember who their friends are and who was there for them when they were down. Exactly. Not she, while they're just trying to get back up. You don't exactly. take your friends down while you're trying to stand back up. That, Thank that's you. it. And you know, so, but I, I have love for her. I, I, I just, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Rachel and Danielle, you guys were at odds last season a little bit. Um, and it always, personally, it bums me out when the rookies don't form a bond. Um, has your relationship changed? De yeah, it has, definitely. It bummed me out, too. I think it bummed us both out. Yeah, it did. We're, yeah. In, we're in a really good place, and I'm so happy to be here. Mm -hmm. I think Danielle's awesome. I love her. We have so much fun together. Thanks. We have a lot in common. It's just like, this is so easy, and that's the kind of friendships that I like. Yep. We love friendships, everybody. Give it up. Uh, congrats on ado officially adopting Jaden. Thank you. Uh, it's actually almost one year. It's almost a one-year anniversary. Huge milestone. Talk about that. Thank you. You know, it was... So awesome for us to be able to do that, something that we have been talking about since Jaden was so young, because um, he didn't understand that when John and I got married, that didn't mean that he is automatically adopted. So he always thought he was adopted. Um, so it's been a topic of conversation in our house for a really long time, and we feel very complete, and I'm really, really happy, and so is he.
And he was very happy to be adopted. He loved it. Good. Love that. Um, Juliana was, I mean, a newborn. I mean, talk, I, 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 like, I, I couldn't do a newborn. We couldn't do it when we weren't entering Real Housewives of New Jersey. How was that? Crazy. Crazy. It was, you know, th she was three months old when we started filming. And to leave the baby, to leave her at that point was like, I mean, how am I supposed to do this? Like, even leaving Jaden, I was like, I just want to be home. Like, I always want to be home when my kids are home. But it was really hard, and having the support of my husband, my parents, my aunt, just my family, like, that's really what helped me get through it and helped me be able to do the show. Melissa, um, it's, the position that you were put in is difficult, always. I, I mean, I'm gonna make a joke, but I, I'm kind of looking for a serious answer. Do you feel on display, on display all the time? I mean... <laughs> I mean, each and every day, I really do. <laughs> Each and every day. Um, yeah, you know what? It's hard, but there's, I've come to a point in my life where, you know, you can try, you can try, you can try, but at some point you need to protect your peace and you need to create a boundary. And I think that's what I did and that's what we're doing. And I think, you know, when something is really toxic and it doesn't work for you and it makes you uncomfortable, you don't need to force yourself to be around it. It's okay to let something go. Right? It's, it's okay. I am protecting my peace. We should all protect our peace, right? Yes. Like, yes. That's it. Yes. And, I'm and I a think lot that's of... a positive thing, and I think everyone should do that and create certain boundaries that they need. Um, we all follow you on social media. You recently went to visit Antonia for Parents yes. Weekend. Yes. Uh, you partied, are you both in a frat and a sorority now? I think just Joe. I won the, I won the belt, guys. You I won the belt. belt. Yes. Uh, the belt yes. home. Um, how's it being in a house full of boys now? I mean, I, I do miss, my, even my dog, Nico, is a boy as well. <laughs> so there's no girls in the house anymore. I miss her. Of yeah. course, guess what? She decided to come visit and come home this weekend. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in Vegas, but I guess all her yeah. friends were coming home. She's thriving. She's doing amazing. She loves college. Thank good. God Antonia has like a great head on her shoulders. She's a good kid and she's doing, she's doing really, really well, so. Um, being in fashion in New Jersey, always difficult. How is Envy doing? Envy is doing amazing. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's always supported me. The crumbs, envy. the crumbs. The, yeah, the crumbs. <laughs> but no, on, and I'm about to open a second Envy. So I'm super, Whoa. super, yes. Yes. I realized we were expanding. Yes. So. Um, are we going to have a fashion show anytime soon? And we, will we just... Kim, Kim B be coming? <laughs> you know, posh? I might actually invite her at this point. I, you know. She brings the drama. Okay. No, we just had one, actually. You're going to see it uh, for season 14.